Women, girls, mothers, they have a right to exist freely in our community without fear of something heinous happening to them. They have a right to walk, bike, order a ride share without fearing something bad will happen to them. This is the story of Shawnee Brescia Dixon, 30-year-old mother whose life was tragically cut short. She was known for her infectious laughter and unwavering dedication to her two children. Little did she know that her life would intersect with Francisco Valadez, an Uber driver whose actions would lead to her untimely demise. After finishing her shift late at night, Shandy called for a ride home, unaware that the driver would become the perpetrator of a horrific crime. On September 8, 2024, she was murdered and sexually assaulted, her body discovered the following day in a wooded area leaving behind a family shattered by loss. How could someone so full of life meet such a tragic fate? What can we do to ensure the safety of rideshare passengers? Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Indianapolis, Indiana. Known as the Crossroads of America, Indianapolis serves as a vital transportation hub, connecting various regions of the country. In this very city, a tragic crime unfolded when Shanti Brescia Dixon became a victim of violence, forever changing the lives of her loved ones. Shanti Brescia Dixon was a 30-year-old mother of two, working hard to provide for her family. She was known for her loving spirit and her dedication to her children. Shanti was originally from Flint, Michigan, and had also lived in Atlanta, Georgia. Recently, she had moved to a new apartment in Indianapolis, where she was starting a new chapter of her life. Neighbors often saw her with her kids and their small dog. Shandi was more than just a loving mother, she was a devoted friend and family member. Her warmth touched everyone she met and she was always ready to help others, no matter the situation. A close friend described her as goofy, happy, always laughing, always caring, a person who left a lasting impression on everyone around her. Shanti had a reputation for being selfless and hardworking, always striving toward her goals while putting her children first. In Shanti Brescia Dixon's life, there was a fateful encounter with Francisco Valadez, the Uber driver who would become the tragic turn of her peaceful life. On the night of Sunday, September 8, 2024, 30-year-old Shanti Brescia Dixon ordered a rideshare through the Uber app after finishing her shift at the strip club around 3.30 in the morning. This seemingly routine action would lead to a horrific sequence of events, culminating in her tragic death. Shanti was last seen alive when she got into the Uber vehicle driven by Francisco Valadez, a 29-year-old man working as a driver for the app. Shanti was expected to return home after her shift, as she normally did. However, after she entered Valadez's vehicle, no one heard from her again. Around 4 a.m., she was dropped off at a location on East Washington Street. Investigators later determined through her cell phone records that she left the same Uber at this spot only to return to the vehicle, continuing toward her home on Earhart Street. Shandi's family began to grow anxious when she did not return home and failed to answer calls or messages. By Monday morning, September 9, 2024, they reported her missing, a decision that would set off a chain of events leading to the discovery of her body. Family members searched for Shanti on their own, ultimately making the devastating discovery of her remains. At approximately 1 p.m. on Monday, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department received a call about an unresponsive woman in a wooded area near the 1800 block of Wagner Lane. 
this area is located close to East Raymond Street and South Sherman Drive. Upon arrival, officers were led to Shanti's lifeless body by the individual who had initially called the authorities. The Marion County Coroner's Office soon identified the woman as Shanti Dixon and ruled her death a homicide. She had been shot, and her body was found in a disturbing state, lying naked, with a sweatshirt pulled over her head and arms, suggesting a violent crime had occurred. Detectives worked swiftly, using data from the Uber app to trace Valadez, who had been the last person to see Dixon alive. Valadez initially gave conflicting stories about what transpired after Shanti entered his car. In his first statement, he claimed that after dropping her off, an unidentified black male approached the car and attempted to rob her, shooting her in the thigh. Valadez claimed both Dixon and the assailant then fled the scene. This explanation quickly fell apart under police scrutiny. Investigators discovered that Valadez had suspiciously cleaned his car shortly after Dixon's disappearance. His mother also confirmed that he frequently carried a gun, which investigators later found inside his home. Under pressure during a formal interrogation at the IMPD homicide office, Valadez changed his story again before eventually confessing to the murder. Detectives said Valadez admitted to being a 30-year-old virgin who offered Dixon money to take his virginity. Valadez said he got mad when Dixon laughed at his body. This reportedly caused him to become enraged and shoot Dixon in the head. He admitted to shooting Shanti in the head in the back of his car after attempting to have sex with her, a crime that unfolded while she was helpless in his vehicle. After killing her, Valadez dragged Shanti's body behind a concrete barrier at the end of Wagner Lane, where he also made a gruesome confession of attempting to have sex with her corpse before abandoning her body. Valadez was arrested on Tuesday, September 10, 2024, and formally charged with murder. He was booked into the Marion County Jail and now faces significant charges, including premeditated murder and potential other counts. Now an Uber driver is arrested for the murder of 30-year-old Shanti Dixon, who was missing this weekend. The driver confessed to killing Dixon. it has got sent of all pieces together. What happened? This is where Shanti Dixon's body was found, in the woods, on a dead-end street on Wagner Lane. It's also just a few feet away from her apartment. Police say 29-year-old Uber driver Francisco Valadez drove Dixon to the scene Sunday morning. Valadez told police he initially attempted to have sex with Dixon in the back of his car, but he got angry with her. He later admitted to police he shot her in the head in his car, then hid Dixon's body behind the concrete barrier. He also said he tried to have sex with her again. Dixon was found naked with a sweatshirt pulled over her head and arms, lying on her stomach. This is just disgusting uh, all around, and it did not have to happen. Uh, this is a family that's, that's been ripped apart. Um, this woman is gone from the, from the world unnecessarily. Um, as a woman, this hits differently for me. Women, girls, mothers, they have a right to exist freely in our community without fear of something heinous happening to them. They have a right to walk, bike, order a ride share without fearing something bad will happen to them. Friends say this video of Dixon seen on the right shows how happy she was. They didn't want to talk on camera, but one of her neighbors did. Because we are pretty much, we look out for each other here. And for that to happen is sad, and for it to be a ride share, that's really sad. You can, you're not even safe getting a ride home. Neighbors tell me they've seen Dixon moving into this apartment. They've seen her with her kids and her dog. Horrific. Horrific. That didn't even, it don't even make any, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't, the girl, she just moved here. She ain't even been here a week. Uber said they have banned Valadez from the app and will continue to assist Indianapolis police in this case. Police also stress that when taking a ride share, there are options to share your real-time location with people you know. If something doesn't feel right to you during your ride, you can ask the person to pull over and you can get out. Police want to hear from anyone who has ridden with Valadez in the past and had any issues with him. The case shocked the community. At a press conference on Tuesday, IMPD Chief Chris Bailey called the crime disgusting and disturbing, expressing sorrow to Dixon's family. 
Assistant Chief Catherine Cummings, reflecting on the heinous nature of the crime, emphasized that women in the community should be able to exist freely without fear of such violence. Both officials urged anyone with information about past suspicious encounters with Valadez to come forward. Valadez has since been banned from Uber, and the company has cooperated with the police investigation. The incident has reignited discussions on the safety of rideshare apps, with both law enforcement and Uber encouraging riders to use safety features like real-time location sharing and emergency contacts. Following the devastating death of Shandi Brescia Dixon, her family faced not only the emotional turmoil of their loss but also the financial burden of laying her to rest and caring for her two children. In response to this, they created a GoFundMe page to seek support from the community. Shani Brescia Dixon was remembered by family and friends as a kind-hearted woman, always willing to lend a helping hand. She was fun. She was courageous. A ball of life. Risa Dixon talks about her daughter Shanti in the past tense. I keep waiting for her to walk through the door, but um, I know she's not going to walk through the door. Police say her 30-year-old daughter's body was found in a wooded area near East Raymond Street and South Sherman Drive on Monday. For people that's out there doing stuff like that man did to my child, because you picked up a stripper at work and you thought, well, nobody going to care. We care. And y'all can't do that. Court documents say her Uber driver, 29-year-old Francisco Valadez, picked Dixon up around 3.30 Sunday morning from work at Sunset Strip off West 16th Street. According to court documents, Valadez attempted to have sex with her in the backseat of his car, but there was a fight. Valadez told police he shot her. If you in the ride share, get on FaceTime with somebody. Take self-defense classes. Get you some protection that you're comfortable with. We can't prevent everything and we can't stop everything, but we can cut it down. The nonprofit What's My Name reiterates that message about rideshare safety. Everything that we do, again, is before you get into the car, the education, the stop, ask, match, and inform, matching the license plates, asking the driver, what's my name? When you feel like you got to do what you got to do and it don't feel right, don't do it. And I know she was just trying to get home from work. The Dixons hope their daughter's legacy lives on. Do not let what happened diminish what she put out in the world. Dixon was a devoted mother, and the loss of her life has left a devastating void for those who knew her. The case remains a chilling reminder of the potential dangers lurking behind seemingly everyday interactions. Though Valadez's arrest has brought some closure to Shandi's family, the pain of her loss will reverberate for years to come. Shanti Brescia Dixon's death underscores a tragic failure to prevent violence that could and should have been avoided. Enhanced safety protocols and rideshare services, such as more rigorous driver background checks, real-time ride tracking, and immediate emergency response features, might have deterred or detected the threat before it escalated. Greater accountability and oversight of drivers, along with improved safety measures, could have created a safer environment for passengers and potentially prevented this horrific crime. The impact on her family and community is profound, with her children now facing life without their mother and her loved ones grappling with both emotional and financial burdens. The tragedy highlights the need for systemic changes to ensure that such senseless violence is minimized. By implementing stronger safety measures and fostering a more vigilant community, similar incidents can be prevented, sparing other families from enduring such devastating losses. Thanks for watching. See you next time.